kindergartners. Welcome to Writer's Workshop. You guys just caught me finishing up my informative writing. I heard that you guys have been writing informative pieces about animals, all about animals, right? Like the jellyfish and some other animals like tigers. That sounds really exciting. I'm actually writing an all about Hannah book. It has all these facts about Hannah so that she can read about it when she's older. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? But today I'm extra excited to be with you because I get to introduce you to a new type of writing. Uh-huh, it's right here. You guys have some good eyes, yeah. It says opinion writing. Can you guys say that with me? Opinion writing. And that's just a fancy way of saying how you feel about something, okay? So opinion writing is actually kind of fun because you get to learn about the author and how they feel. And there isn't really one right answer because an opinion is just how someone feels. So you can agree or disagree with how they feel. Not like informative writing. Informative writing is cool to like learn about something, but you can't really argue about any of this stuff. So if I told you that Hannah's birthday is on June 13th, you can't say, I disagree, Misconception. Her birthday is on the on Christmas. It's on December 25th. That's not true, right? But with opinion writing, you can argue. So if I said that Hannah is the cutest baby ever, some of you might say, mm -mm, Misconception, she's cute, but I think my little sister's cuter. Or I think my little brother's cuter. Or maybe you think you're the cutest baby ever, right? So that's kind of fun. So let's see some examples of opinion writing. Because you know what? When Misconception wants to learn about a new type of writing, I always look at some experts. So I have this book and it says, I want a new room. What do you think this person's opinion is? How do you think they feel? Yeah, exactly. They feel like they should get a new room. That looks really fun. Um, let's see another one. Oh, this one's really, really cool. This one says, my teacher for president. How does this person feel? Yeah, their opinion is that they think their teacher should be president. Hmm, would I like to be president? I don't know. That's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Let's see another one. Ooh, don't call me bear. He looks a little upset. Sometimes your opinion can get you a little upset, right? Because it's something you really feel strongly about. So don't call me bear. <gasps> he doesn't want to be called bear. That's his opinion. That's how he feels. Ooh, and this author does something really cool. He goes around to different schools and asks kids for their opinion. He's asking here, what is the best pet? Wow, and these kindergartners gave all types of answers for their opinion. This person thought that the best pet is a meow, meow, cat, yeah. And this person thinks the best pet is a fish. So you see, boys and girls, with opinions, you don't have to agree, but it's really cool to see what other people's feelings are and what they're thinking about certain topics, right? And this one is, why should we keep our classroom clean? Huh? Yeah, that ha that might have good opinions in there. Like, what do you think? And how do you feel about having a clean classroom? Hmm. So those were some awesome books. Let's see if we can write down what opinion writing is, just so I don't forget. Um, so let's see. It says, mm, how you mm about something. So opinion writing tells how you feel about something. So it tells how you feel about something. Let's write that down. Tells how you feel about something and what always helps me remember is i do hand motion so it tells how you feel and i make a little heart because that's feelings about something okay so while i've been at home i've gotten a little bit excited because there's been a lot of changes happening um like misconception just got her first vaccine for covid and a vaccine is something it's like a shot that helps your body so if you get like some germs that might make you sick, it actually stops you from getting sick. So a lot of your mommies and daddies and aunties and uncles and adults might be going back to work 
because it's getting a little safer. And some of your classmates are actually gonna be in Miss D's class in person at school because it's a little bit safer now to be around other people. So I started thinking, hmm, what are some things that I really wanna do when I can hang out again with my friends and family? So I wanted to get your opinion. So what do you think are the best things to do? Some things that you miss doing or some things that you think are always awesome to do. And you know what, before I get started with Writer's Workshop, I have a friend named Kelly and she told me, misconception before you start writing a new piece, you should make sure that you have all of your materials. And she said, oh, what's something that you need? You definitely need what? Paper. So boys and girls, make sure you have your paper. And you definitely need something to color and write with. You can write with a pen, you can write with a pencil, you can write with markers, whatever you feel like doing. And Misconception has a lot of options. I love markers and pens and I have this with me all the time. So I think I'm ready. Oh, and one more thing she said. She said, Misconception, if you get stuck with spelling, you can always look at your alphabet chart. So you should have that somewhere near you. Okay, so boys and girls, get this out because I heard that a lot of you are writing words now, which is so impressive. But you wanna make sure that you're writing the correct letters when you're writing in Writer's Workshop, okay? So I think I have everything, check, check, check. All right, so now I'm gonna write what we're gonna brainstorm. Brainstorm, right? So we're gonna write the best things to do are, and I'm gonna put dot, dot, dot because we're gonna continue writing and we're making a list. Hmm, I don't really like that. I'm gonna make a line across just so we know that we're starting something new. And boys and girls, you're gonna write yours on a separate sheet of paper, okay? But Misconception is writing on this big piece of paper because I want you to be able to see it, okay? So I'm gonna just draw a squiggly line across like this so I know that my list is starting under that squiggly line. The best things to do are, and you're gonna watch me brainstorm and then you're gonna get a chance to do it in just a bit, okay? So, hmm. Think, think, think. What are some things I like to do? And if it's a list, boys and girls, remember, we're going to put that dot. What is that dot called? A bullet point. Great. I heard somebody say it over there. Great job. Yep. Some of my kids like to call it boba because it looks like a little boba ball. And they know that Misconception loves boba. But the fancy word for it is bullet point. Okay. So one of the things my friends and I used to love doing is singing together. We used to love karaoke. You guys know what karaoke is? It's when the words are on the screen and you sing and you be, you're a little silly and you feel like a superstar. Yeah. Well, my friends and I love doing that together. So I'm going to put singing. Sing, sing. And s is an S. I looked over here. And, yep. Singing. And you know what? I'm going to draw a microphone to help me remember that I was talking about singing. And maybe some music notes. Oh, all right. So singing, that was something me and my friends love doing. Oh, another thing we love to do and that I would want to do again is going to restaurants. I love trying yummy food and eating and talking with them. So we're going to restaurants. G -g -g -g. That's a G. Going to restaurants. Ooh, what can I draw for that? Ooh, I'm going to draw a fork and a spoon and maybe a plate. Cool. All right. So there's my going to restaurants. What else did I like to do back then with my friends and family? You know, I really miss getting boba and drinking it with my friends and just catching up and asking them how they're doing. I used to do that like every week. So I'm gonna put drinking boba. Oh, and, oh I get to draw some boba, that's so fun. 
up. Drinking boba. Hmm. What's something else I might want to do? You know what? I really miss going to the park and playing with my students in the park. And you know, I really want to take Hannah to the park. So I think that might be one of the things I want to put on the best things to do are, right? Playing in the park. Playing at the park. And let's draw a little slide. And remember, boys and girls, these are sketches. They don't have to be perfect. And I'm going to draw a little swing. There you go. A swing and a slide. All right. So right now I have one, two, three, four things on my list. And I can just keep going. But, you know, I want to give you guys some time to do this. Okay? So I want you to turn on your brains and think, think, think. What are the best things to do? The best things to do are, and then I want you to make your list. So you try it, and then when we come back to Writer's Workshop, we're going to choose one of these to write about, okay? So boys and girls, I hope you had fun learning about opinion writing with me. Remember, opinion writing tells how you feel about something, okay? So what do you feel is the best things to do, okay? All right. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.